later on in the uh, day. Nice little visit from my nan. Love you, nan. So, back on the old Honda. Uh, Paul's just currently sorting out the gear linkage. Magic. Magic. I didn't trip over. You didn't trip over. I was watching for that then. I want to finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think my first task is going to be a case of whipping out, well, taking the back seat off, having a look to see if it's got roughly the same sort of uh, hole, or if it does have the hole for the inlet and outlet. He's not doing that bit yet. Am I not? No, you've got to put the clutch pedal back in. Oh, okay, I've got to put that back in. in looks a little bit out of place but should do for now what's going on if we've got a hole to uh well for uh, the top of the tank who knows it's all guesswork right now she's enjoying herself so right let's get the rear seat out uh nothing on top so whatever happens, we'll have to cut something in and hopefully this um, later Civic tank will kind of fit. Yeah, let's go from there. So I think now we're uh, at the point where we need to get the tank out. But the front end's up and the back end's down. Right, just to make it easier, um, I think we're going to get the linkage all back in. Well, me and Paul get the linkage back in uh, and then drop drop the tank, see what happens. So, what do you reckon? You reckon it's going to fit? Don't know yet. Nothing's fitted on this car so far, so with those odds, we've got a pretty good chance. While Paul's messing about with the gear linkage, I'm just going to have a bit of a play around with some of these coolant pipes and matching ends to which and what and where and when. So, Quite luckily, the uh, new, or the newer Civic engine, the lower coolant pipe is spot on. Just needs a little bit trimming off of uh, the bottom, which I'll show you in a minute. But the top one on the other hand, um, it kinks around way too much. Um, and it's gonna restrict the flow. So I'm just about to check out the other hose, make sure that's all right, and yeah. Well, plumber all in. Uh, just shortened it by oh, about 40 mil, all in all. Um, so, top hose isn't going as nice as we want it to, it's just kinking back on itself. Uh, off of the old uh, 1300, this come out nice and straight, um, and then kind of well, went in exactly the same place. So, what we're going to have to do is join it. Um, and luckily I've got this, which to some people, that's the kind of spacer in a Honda engine mount. But to this one, it's a spacer for a coolant hose. So, grind it down and uh, join it up. And there we have our little spacer. Or our link pipe, should we say. And come up too bad. Shame you're not, not going to see it. The plumbing side of uh, the engine's all done uh, with uh, servo coolant lines, <sighs> and we both forgot about the rat uh, about the uh, fan. Yeah, there isn't room for that. So what I'm going to do is see if I can whip off this front panel and see if I can mount the rad on the front, and then of course just to remember to reverse the uh, currency and spin it the other way so yeah that's what I'm now doing stripping off the uh, front end well hopefully just the top bit and fingers crossed there should be enough room to just slip it slip it down the front who knows uh, we've got our fans sitting in there uh, a little crude spacer system with some M6 nuts uh, and on this side just a bit of bar with a kind of right angled uh, stud locking in there to there 
Uh, so all I'm going to do now is nut and bolt through that bit, nut and bolt through that bit, and then it's just sort out the wiring, which is going to be nice and easy because if we look down here, uh, it's clipped in at the bottom. But yeah, we've got plenty of room to just swap that straight over and plug that straight in. So bish bash bosh. Here we have it, our front mounted uh, radiator fan. So there's our little bit of bar, um, just with a little right angle peg at the bottom even a little bit of bling bling in the middle and that's that sorted something else which needed doing uh oh he's doing this video yeah we now have the original console back in with the gator off of the old honda so we got gears that's uh, goodbye for uh, today. Our Honda looking very uh, happy again. It's got its drive shafts, it's got its wheels, it's got gears. It's been a good day. Well, semi productive day, mainly Paul. But that's it, weekend off and uh, back on it again Monday, Tuesday for our, that's it, seven day challenge. Will we do it? Who knows? So, what, what, what have we got left? We've got exhaust, fuel tank, and wiring loom. And then a few like nibbly bits and bobs and more brackets. So, yeah, not a lot. But we're looking pretty good for our goal. As long as the wiring loom all goes all right. So, apart from that, goodbye from me. Goodbye from Paul, wherever he is. There he is. Here I am. Here he comes, Elton John, with his glasses. Who? Elton John, isn't it? Who's he then? I'm joking. See you like. See you Monday. <laughs>